Hey guys, hope you're having a good day today, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to quickly take any color palette from one image that you might like, and put it into an image that you're trying to manipulate. So yeah, without further ado, let's hop right into that. So what I'm planning to do is take the color grade from this photo right here, and I'm going to dump it into this one right here. So, first thing you want to do is head on over to the swatches, then you're going to hit these three bars right here, and then you're going to go to create palette from image. Select your image, mine is this one right here, and it's going to come up with five different colors. Uh, we only need three for what we're doing today, so you can just hit three and then hit preview to see what those colors will be, and those are our colors, so we'll hit create, and to make our life a little bit easier for what we're going to do next, we're going to go to appearance, and we're going to hit large. Just make these icons right here a little bit bigger. Next thing we're going to do is add an adjustment, so we're going to go down here, and we're going to go to gradient map. So what we're going to do now is hit our left node, which is our red. It's going to be mainly our shadows, our darker colors. We're going to hit the color. We're going to grab the color picker tool and pick our darkest color. For us, it's this green, this dark green right here. And then same thing for the midtones. We're going to pick about the middle color. So it'll be this kind of beige brown there. And same thing for the right, for the blues, kind of like the other parts we will pick the lightest color there we go and once you do that you can hit the x right here now we're going to go over to our blend modes um, i like to go down to the overlay soft light for this we'll go to overlay and then what you can do if this is too much for you you can change the opacity here so we'll knock this down a little bit 65 so yeah that's kind of our change right there uh, so if you're not completely satisfied with your look of the image after, another thing you can do is hop on down to another adjustment and we can add a curves layer here. So if we change our uh, shadows here, we can make them lighter. We don't really want to make them too light, so we'll just edit that a little bit. And same with our highlights, we can make them darker if we go down, but we'll just edit that just a touch. So let's see what our image looks like after all the adjustments, so let's hit them. So this was our initial image, and after we brought in the new color palette, this is what we got. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. If you guys did like it, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're not already. And I just want to make a big shout out to Affinity Revolution for putting me onto this video idea. You know, I really think it's the best way to just go through other YouTubers, learn what you can, you know. I'm self-taught in all of this, you know, I think that's really the best way to do it. You know, just go through everybody, learn from everybody. So, yeah, I just want to give a big shout out to them. I'll leave their link to the video in the description below. So, yeah, if you have any comments, questions whatsoever, drop them down below. And I'll do the best I can to reach out to all of you guys. So, yeah, have a good one. I'll see you in the next one.